The sponge command is a utility that provides a function that is so simple it's genius. Its basic use is to soak up standard input and write it to a file. The terminology soak up is more important than just creating a fun play on words. In this short tutorial we show you the sponge command's basic usage and why the term soak up is important. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The sponge command does not have any options, it only takes a single file name as an argument. The most basic way to use sponge is to call it at the command line and give it some input. You can use Ctrl plus D to signal the end of your input. Although this doesn't seem groundbreaking, the beauty of this utility comes in how we can use it in pipelines. The real power of the sponge command becomes apparent when you start using it in pipes. At first I questioned whether it was necessary since you can just use redirection. Let's take a look at an example of sponge and redirection side by side. Both of these commands generate the desired result. So why bother with sponge? That is where the soak up terminology becomes important. Sponge will soak up or read in all of the input before it opens the output file. Whereas a redirect will open the file for writing, then read the stream into it. If you try to read and write to the same file with a redirect, you run a real risk of corrupting it. Let's look at an example of reading and writing changes to the same file inside of a pipeline. Here is an example file holding names of cities with some comment lines. Now let's assume you want to remove all of the comments or lines that start with the pound sign. You can use grep like so. However, that doesn't change the file, it just prints it to standard output with the comment lines removed. How about just redirecting the output to itself? No! Grep doesn't like that and basically all you accomplished was emptying your file. Most people would resort to using a temporary file to hold the updated contents. Then write that temporary file back to the original. The sponge command fixes all of these problems. Since it reads all of the input before opening the output file for writing, you can use the same file on a pipeline. This was just a simple exercise meant to demonstrate how the sponge command works. However, being able to read in all the input before opening a file for writing can be useful in other situations. I hope you found this tutorial interesting. If so, please support Putorius by subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.